welcome back to a stick and three pedals. In today's video we have this Audi S5 B8.5 with a lot more power than stock. But before we continue I'd like to thank the owner for letting me make this video so be sure to follow him White S5. So the Audi S5 is the mid-tier performance model sitting between the regular A5 and RS5. There were three body styles available, the coupe, the convertible and this sportback alongside the S4 which came with a sedan and a wagon however it's pretty much the same vehicle. This gen, the B8, was released back in 2007 only in coupe form and back then it actually came out with a V8, a 4.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 producing 354 horsepower. In 2009 the Sportback came out along with the convertible however those only got the 3 liter supercharged V6. They made a little bit less power, 333 horsepower however the same amount of torque, 440 newton meters. All engines came with a 6 speed manual or a automatic. The V8 came with a 6 speed Tiptronic and the V6 with a 7-speed S-tronic, so a dual clutch. In 2013, the facelift came out, dubbed B8.5, which made subtle changes to the lights and the interior, and it made it look even more modern than it was. And even today, this car still looks very modern, and definitely not out of date. The car we have here today is a 2014 Sportback, which makes it a facelift. And as I said, these make 333 horsepower and 440 newton meter stock. However, this one has a stage two tune with 480 horsepower and 563 newton meters. And that is dyno verified. And the tune has been done by DVX here in Belgium. Unless the cops are asking, then we are in Mexico. <laughs> This car is finished in a very clean white with black accents. However, this being an S model, it still has the traditional aluminum mirror caps. This car comes with 19 inch wheels wrapped in Pirelli P0 tires. I would personally go with Audi rotor wheels since I think they are one of the best looking Audi wheels ever made. With the S5, you also get a V6 T badge. Audi classifies superchargers as a turbocharger for some reason. Then moving to the back of the vehicle, the owner has fitted a lip spoiler at the back which really finishes off the design very well. Also vanity stickers as well as the car club here in Belgium, one of the biggest clubs here. Besides the S5 badge and the quad exhaust tips, you couldn't really say that this car has a lot of power, especially this one with almost 500 horsepower. The S5 comes stock with these four exhaust tips, these ones have been changed a little bit and an Audi RS5 has two bigger ones, typical oval size for RS models. Since this is a Sportback, it is actually more practical than a regular sedan. So you have more space than a sedan and you still get those really nice coupe body lines. And this one even has a ginormous subwoofer. Moving to the interior, the differences between a regular A5 and S5 are these seats which are one piece, meaning that the headrests are together with the back of the seat, as well as a flat bottom steering wheel, a different shifter and aluminum pedals. This cabin has actually aged really well, even though its original design is 15 years old. The only thing that does date it is the center console with the infotainment system. However, the owner has upgraded it to a Apple CarPlay system. The dials and the steering wheel I still think look really good and I don't think they're ever going to be out of date. Here's a better look of the seats from the front. As I said, they are one piece. And this is back in the day when Audi used to have different model designations on the seats. As you can see, it says S5, whereas on modern day S cars, it just says S. And same goes for the steering wheel. There's an S5 badge instead of just a regular S badge. This being the Sportback, it has the three liter supercharged V6. 
stock as I said 333 horsepower and 440 newton meters this one being a stage 2 it has 480 horsepower and 563 newton meters which is quite a lot of extra power for just a stage 2 around 150 horsepower extra so the different things that have been done to this car to have that much power is a ECU and TCU uh, software upgrades then this CTS intake with gold wrapping to keep it a bit cooler then a upgraded forge intercooler and it even has a different place to pour in the coolant whereas this is for the engine a different pulley crank since this is supercharged and that is the main way how to get more power out of a supercharged engine <laughs> So stock this does around 5 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour and now it's just under 4 and it has made it to the very fast 7 speed S-Tronic so a dual clutch and quattro all wheel drive so you have lots of grip off the line. 100 to 200 kilometers an hour is now sub 10 seconds.
Mm-hmm.